Throughout the entire history of World of Tanks, the game has had only two Tier 10 TDs with a drum-type autoloader. Even though they're a dying breed, the Fosh is still worth talking about. Today, it's something like a BlackBerry in the age of iPhones. In order to escape the fate of its oversized cousin, the Fosh needed to change. Please welcome a new hero to World of Tanks, AMX-50 Fosh B. Let's clear one thing up for starters. Fosh 155 stays in the game. If you had it in the garage when Update 9.20 released, it will remain there. You can continue playing on it, but it will become unavailable for research. Think of it as a kind of museum exhibit. At this, it's quite questionable from an economic point of view. Special offer, sell a dinosaur. Get a thousand pieces of silver. Step into Judas's shoes. To sum it up, you'll see it in battles and it remains in the garage. Just next to its replacement, AMX-50 Fosh B. Take a look at it. It's a Fosh, all right. There's no doubt about that. The name, specifications and the exterior leave no room for questions about the kinship of these vehicles. And it's the source of all its problems. One of the worst view ranges among all Tier 10 TDs. Low amount of hit points and the armor. Well, that armor. 213 millimeters in the lower armor plate and 210 millimeters in the machine gun coupler. Any Tier 10 vehicle can penetrate the Fosh in any of these spots without any trouble. And if only it were just Tier 10s. This big long rangefinder is penetrated by anyone the Fosh can meet. Anyone? Always. No matter what. The only way to avoid taking damage at close range is if the enemy misses. But it's not that bad. First of all, the Fosh has a decent upper glasses plate. Sure, no one will fire at it on purpose, but if the enemy's accuracy fails and the shell hits it, the chance of non-penetration is high. Secondly, in Update 9.20, both old and new Foshes had their sides buffed. And it's not a slight buff. The armor grew from 40 to 80 millimeters. And if these numbers seem laughable to you, well, think back. The previous 40 millimeters of armor in the side meant that any vehicle with a gun caliber higher than 120 millimeters pierced the Fosh at any angle because of the three caliber rule. Now you'll need a 240 millimeter gun to do the same. A naval gun. Or a howitzer, for example. So the armor is a controversial issue. On the one hand, you can and should penetrate the Fosh. On the other hand, you can only ensure penetration at close range, but still not always. Things with the TD's dynamics are clearer. The maximum speed of the Fosh is 50 kilometers per hour. It doesn't reach it straight away, but looks good when compared against same-tier vehicles. In speed, it's similar to the mobile heavies like the IS-7 or the new Chinese branch. But the question is, what's the point of these good dynamics? It's not a joke. I don't get it, really. The heavy tanks need to reach the front line. And the Fosh has no business there considering its armor. Hide in the bushes? Well, not exactly. I mean, it can hide, but there's no sense staying there either. The Fosh's gun characteristics make playing this TD like a TD 
pointless. The armor penetration with a standard shell is 257 millimeters. I could joke about it, but I could also cry. This is the worst penetration among not only tier 10 TDs, but also tier 9 TDs. And it's not a matter of dispute or an argument. It's the objective reality. Its accuracy is quite average, but it's not the most important thing. The Alpha Strike. What the Fosh was always loved for. It's gone. The average damage per shot is nowhere near 750. And it's not 600. 400. 400! So what do you do with this French clunker? No Alpha. No turret. Average concealment, dubious armor, and mockable penetration. Yeah, it's dynamics. So what? Is it an ideal vehicle to run? No. But there's one fact that will change your perception of the Fosh. Listen carefully. Auto Loader The Fosh B has six shells in its drum. 400 damage every two seconds. That's right. Simple math tells us that the TD can dish out 2,400 damage in 10 seconds. Yeah, you need to aim. Yeah, the gun aims longer than it reloads. But this is nothing when you can destroy a full HP enemy vehicle. Any medium tank and most heavy tanks can go back to the garage if they come across the Fosh. Just imagine. The menacing and powerful AMX 50B turns around the corner and there you are. You're ready to play whose hit points run out first. The platoon of Fosh is a devastating combo. 7,200 damage in 10 seconds, equal to 4 full health bat chats. 18 hearties. I can already see some players getting a bit sour. There's no catch here. The vehicle can do all of this. The question is, can you? The Fosh's task is to always be where it can realize its potential. Not too close and not too far, but right where it needs to be. At medium range, its armor works. You shouldn't rush forward with all guns blazing or, on the contrary, impassively sit in the bushes. The Fosh is like a boxer, who should always close the distance. 
playing this TD, you should always feel the dynamics of the battle. Seize the moment, analyze, aim, and only then strike a series of punches. Track the enemy. One more time, and then drum solo. Amazing. It's not a typical vehicle. Not even a typical TD. It can't block damage like the Jagdpanzer E100, or hide in the bushes like the Grill 15. The Fosh B has its own style. And if you're ready for it, the true power of this vehicle will be revealed. <laughs>